Hello everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks very much for joining us. Well, a big high is on the way and warmer than average weather as well for some areas. I know it might be a little hard to believe after the cold snaps we've just had. So speaking of the cold snaps, we've got a southerly right across the country at the moment. Fairly windy in the exposed usual areas, but not as cold as some people thought it might be. And in fact, places like Dunedin were warmer than some other main centers earlier today. When you track the origins of the airflow, it's not surprising. It's coming out of Australia. And that's the theme over the next couple of days. As this big high on Friday starts to move in from the Tasman Sea, settles things down. But look at that airflow coming straight out of Sydney and straight down to the South Island. So we are expecting warmer than average weather along the West Coast as we head in towards uh, the weekend. Friday and Saturday both look fairly warm and you're going to notice other spots around the country just warming up a little bit more. Friday and Saturday could be quite a mild day in some places which might be a little surprising after the cold change we've just seen. The only lingering showers along the east coast of the North Island. Any early showers will clear Wellington and Friday is looking like it's going to end on a pretty good note. And this is how Saturday looks. Dry over the North Island thanks to high pressure. A couple of little tiny light showers just up and around the Bay of Islands potentially. And then down on the west coast some rain around Fiordland. A few showers up the western side. Otherwise dry with west to northwest winds building. And again they'll be mild coming out of Australia. And for the first All Blacks test at Eden Park playing France. Look at that. Smack bang under a high. So it should be settled, calm, clear, perfect conditions for a fast game. A few showers in the north on Sunday won't be much, just a couple of light ones. There's a little area of rain that's hanging around uh, the west coast. It might just be a little patchy area of rain that seems to be stuck in its place. And then a little bit of a colder change southwest is coming through later on Sunday. Once we get to next week, Monday looks like this. It's a little bit complicated next week because we still can't exactly work out what's going to happen between these two systems. But there's subtropical low air pressure forming in this zone up here while high pressure builds down here. And in fact, that's a complete reversal of where we've been the last month, which has been mostly low pressure in the Southern Ocean and high pressure to our north. So that changes things. We have easterlies coming back to the North Island and eventually nor'easters coming down over the South Island. So once we get to Tuesday, there's a big question mark lying over what's going to happen next week because will the high win and just push back? Will the low slide into the Tasman? Will it slide out to the right hand side? or can it come straight on down? We've got field days on next week in Waikato. Easterlies are generally quite a good direction for dry weather, but not if the low drops right down, then that changes it. So a lot of questions are going to be asked about the weather next week. We'll try and answer them as best as we can. So our next update will be on Friday.